Example 5.14. In this example, we have an incompressible laminar water flow developing a straight vertical pipe having a radius r as is shown. In section 1, the velocity profile is uniform and is equal in constant value and parallel to the axis everywhere. In section 2, the velocity profile is axisymmetric and parabolic. The goal of the problem is to develop an expression for the fluid pressure drop that occurs between section 1 and section 2. This is a conservation of momentum in a control volume problem. It is considered to be steady. And we are going to have two cases, one in which the control surface velocity is constant and the other one in which it varies as a function of the radius. Since this is a conservation of momentum case, the first thing that we need to do is draw a free body diagram. So we're going to draw the forces in the, into this control volume. Let's just start with the weight, going downwards. The reaction force, we take it to be going upwards. So the reaction force in the z-axis. We also have pressure going in each one of the sections. We have pressure at point one, so it's P1A1, force form, and the same thing with the section two. So we got P2A2. Now let's simplify this integral. In this integral, the first term is going to be zero because the, the uh, case is steady. And for the second part of the equation, we could simplify this integral uh, for the first section since velocity is uniform and constant. However, for the second part, we cannot do it and we have to do the integration. So let's just start with section one. For section one, we have W1, M1, and we said that W1 is going upwards in the positive Z direction, therefore it's going to be positive. And M1 is going into the control volume Therefore, it's going to be negative. Then we rewrite this integral. And then we have rho, we could take it out. And this is going to be control surface 2. And then we have the velocities is going to be w2. We have two of them, so it's going to be a square. And then we simply write the a. And then we write all the forces that we have into this control volume. So we have um, the, re the reaction for RAZ, we got the weight, we got the pressure at point 1 which is positive, P1A1, and at point 2 is P2A2, and it's going to be negative since it's going into the control volume. So let's now solve this integral before we could solve this whole equation. So going back to the information that we had previously, we had to replace the a as a function of r, since r is the variable that is used to describe the problem, as well as the variable inside of the equation for the velocity at point two. So we could simply say that a is equal to pi r squared, therefore dA is equal to 2 pi r dr. We substitute this into this integral and it becomes rho. We could also take out the 2 pi and we substitute. The limits of integration are going to be from 0 to capital R and we write the value of w2 which is equal to 2 w1 1 minus r square r square and then this gets multiplied by r dr to simplify this and this is to the second power since we have y2 square so we have it over here to simplify we're going to take all the constants out and we're going to multiply this out so 2 w1 square comes out so that becomes 2 squared becomes 4, it's 8, 8 pi, a row pi, w1 
square integration from 0 to r and we multiply this out so first we need to do the square of this which becomes 1 minus 2 r squared plus r to the 4 r to the 4 and then this gets multiplied by r dr continue for rho pi w1 square 0 to r and this becomes r minus 2 r cubed r squared plus r to the fifth r to the fourth dr the integral of this is rho e rho pi w1 squared and then we have r squared divided by 2 minus 2 r to the 4 4 r squared plus r to the 6 6 r to the 4 and we evaluate it from 0 to 1 if we substitute the limits of integration into this equation we find that this is going to be equal to 8 rho pi y1 square and this is r square divided by 2 minus 1 half r square plus 1 sixth r square which is equal to 8 rho pi and then half and this cancel and this becomes r squared divided by 6 and this becomes 4 thirds rho pi y1 square r squared so after you have solved the integral you substitute everything into the original equation positive and negative becomes negative this is w1 and the mass flow rate at point one plus four thirds rho pi w one square r square is equal to the reaction four in the z axis minus the weight plus uh, the area is the same so it will be a one and then it will be p one minus p two. So let's now solve for a relationship between P1 and P2, since that's the information that we need to calculate. So we write minus W1 M1 plus 4 thirds rho pi W1 square R square equals negative RAZ plus W, which is the weight, and then all of this gets divided by area 1 and that gives you a relationship between P1 and P2. The difficult part in this type of problem is to solve for the integral. As we did before, simply substitute the equation of the velocity into the formula. Make sure that you square it and then replace always dA as 2 pi r dr multiplied everything out and carefully performed the integration the limits of integration in this case are from 0 to capital R once you have that information you plug it in you enter all the information that you have and in this case we're solving for the differences between the pressures and this is the relationship that we're able to obtain